You talked about a couple of behavioral changes that you've made already. Absolutely. What else can you address as far as like, now, now you're not doing like the three meals a day thing, you're doing the smaller no. things more yeah. often? Yeah. Okay. What are the kind of behavioral changes like? like oh, you yeah. Okay. You drive okay. past McDonald's? Okay. So <laughs> that, was, that was major for me. I'm a food person. And I used to call myself a food critic, okay? Because I have, a, I'm in love with food, in love. So it, it, was it's, it was really mentally challenging for me. That was my biggest challenge. The biggest challenge was putting in my mind that I can actually take three bites of food and be full. The biggest challenge was listening to my, myself tell me that I'm not hungry. To get over the fact that you're not hungry after three bites is extremely hard. Now, if I go over the two hours, I'm gonna be like, I, I need food. And we're, I'm gonna stop somewhere and get me some peanuts or something. Cause I will get in a real, but that's just me. I'm really over the edge kind of crazy. Um, my husband will tell you if he was in the room. But um, it's, it's a real mental challenge, a really, 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 really big mental challenge to sit there and try to tell your brain, your brain, that you're not hungry. It's hard because you get extremely frustrated because you want to shove your face in a whole entire pie. You just, you really do. It gets to a point where you're like, I need it. I know I need it. I need to eat that. And so to work with it, I still deal with it every now and then. I'm seven months out and I still deal with it every now and then. That when we go to a beautiful dinner or whatnot, I'm like on kids meal. <laughs> size you know and then even at that I could probably eat maybe a quarter of the food so I get really sad and depressed that I can't eat like everybody else and me I was a big person that wanted to try to eat off of everybody's plate plate and try everything so now that I can't do that it gets me a little sad I just sit there and watch them eat. <laughs> you know I'm like oh that's a mental mental thing for me that I still have to get over because it still gets a little like oh I think I need more than what I do and I don't I think this is going to be an issue for us because I love to cook. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to have to farm out food to people. Well, actually, I, I, I cook a lot. I like doing experiment stuff and cooking. And I have another friend that had it done too. And she's a chef. So, it actually, and you know, we eat when we cook. Yeah. You know, we take bites of everything and sample everything. And believe it or not, you get to a point where you're starting to be like, uh, oh, food is nothing. Like you drive past McDonald's and you're like, I'm not risking my body for that. Or you drive, and plus it'll violently make you throw up. But you get to points where you're just like, eh, I'm over it. It will get there. You'll be over it. But it's, it's just, it's a mental thing. It really is a mental thing because think about it. Why did we used to eat? It was a mental thing. We just, we eat when we're stressed. We eat when we're sad. We eat when we're happy. We eat when, you know, everything in this, it, well, at least in California that I know of is related to food happy sad go here eat this and so it's a it's a new way of thinking but it's worth it because you feel so good when you walk wake up in the morning and you don't have to take a bunch of meds and you don't have to feel all down and depressed and people don't look at you like oh, okay well she's gonna take two seats you know she's you know you, people look at you funny too and it's kind of like nerve-wracking or they like oh I remember you from back oh ten years ago oh my gosh and they don't want to tell you they don't want to be rude and but you look completely you know you're big so it's like oh. and now when I see people they're like what the heck did you do and I'm just like some people I will tell and other people I won't because you know people are very judgmental out here so oh yeah yeah so I didn't tell any of my family personally just my immediate family that I was going to do it I didn't tell anybody until afterwards. I just have a hard time dealing with comments from complete strangers. Oh, yeah. Um, I may not look like it, but I'm a flight attendant from a major airline. I have been slapped on the butt, mm -hmm. poked in my ribs, mm -hmm. um, pinched, and I had one gentleman say, don't they do weight checks for you guys anymore? And I said, no, they stopped doing that years ago, but I think we're going to have to start instilling um, some politeness and IQ oh, checks to wow. passengers. Yeah, so I get it all the time. Oh yeah, I'm in the court arena, so I'm in court every day. I've had judges tell me, can you hurry up? You know, can you hurry up and walk, you know, are you, are you, do you need a breath? Do you need to sit down? You know, sideways comments, especially it's a, it's a man's world there. So, and you're definitely in that man's world. If you don't look like this, you're not treated the same. So yeah, I've had my, 
issues with comments and stuff and completely different now. It's a moment, you have to get your phone number. Yeah. <laughs> Women of power, right? Yes. Um, but yeah, it is a struggle. I'm not going to lie. It's a struggle every day because I want to shove my face in a pie and just inhale. But at the just same small. time, yeah, just, just, you it's know. Smaller time. <laughs> but I've learned. This